in this problem, we have what's called a complex fraction. That is a fraction with other fractional parts in the numerator and the denominator. At first glance, these can look pretty confusing, but if we take it step by step, uh, it's not really anything you don't know how to do. I'm going to show you a couple different methods. Um, first of all, I think what I want to do is just try to look at the top and the bottom and solve those problems as much as I can, make them simpler. So I've got 3 halves minus 6. If I convert 6 into halves, that would be minus 12 halves, because 12 halves equals 6. And then I can do that problem, 3 minus 12 is negative 9 halves. So that's what's on the top of my fraction. Let's work on the bottom here. So 2 plus 7, 6, I'll convert that 2 to 6. So that would be 12 sixths plus 7 sixths. And that is 19 sixths. So this is my top, this is my bottom. Let me rewrite that fraction. So I've got negative 9 halves over 19 sixths. Well, you may say this doesn't really look that much simpler. I've still got fractions inside fractions. The next step I'm going to do is multiply the big fraction by some version of 1, some number over itself. I'm going to choose 6 because if I multiply this bottom part by 6, it'll just be 19. And if I multiply this top part by 6, that 2 will go away. I'd end up multiplying the 9 by 3. Um, you'll see. So multiplying by 6 over 6. I can do that because this is just the number 1. So 9 halves times 6. Well, 6 times 9 is 54. Divide that by 2, I get uh, 27. So that's a negative 27 on the top. And on the bottom, uh, 19 6 times 6. The 6 is just cancel. So I get 19. And there I am. I've arrived at an answer. So that didn't take us too many steps to get to negative 27 19 I do want to show you a, a different method. Once you get to this point right here, this is a division problem. This is the same as saying negative 9 halves divided by 19 sixths. And the way we do fraction division is we take this second fraction, we flip it upside down and turn this into multiplication. So this is the same thing as negative 9 halves times 6 19 And so you would multiply across the top and across the bottom. And um, well, you would get, I would probably cancel. I'd, I'd call this 3 and cancel that. And we get 9 times 3 is 27 and 19, uh, negative 27 on the top and 19 on the bottom. But that's a second way to approach it uh, if you don't want to try to multiply by a form of 1. So whichever way works best for you. That is a little introduction to complex fractions.